Caitlin's not back there. Not yet. Yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye out for you as long as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see if you're going to Okay. Yeah. All right, you just stay facing. Yep, that's... Pointed that way. and loved ones of Caitlin and Brian. From the very beginnings of human history, people have felt a need to celebrate the great and happy moments in their lives. A day like today becomes more meaningful when friends and family can share in the celebration with us. Even more important, we celebrate this day with God himself and ask for his blessing on this marriage. The bond of marriage, after all, was established by God at creation when he said that a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife as one flesh. 
God has given us marriage to bring joy and happiness, but also help and comfort when the downtimes come. It's also the foundation of the family so that children can be raised in an atmosphere of love and caring. Marriage is not the culmination of a relationship between two people, but rather a new beginning, the beginning of a new kind and quality of life that will lead to an uphill battle at some times with both joy and frustration, both happiness and sorrow along the way. It is to this challenge of a new relationship that Brian and Caitlin are now about to commit themselves before us and before God, and we are glad to be able to join with them in this celebration of their marriage, to witness their vows, to pray with them, and to wish them joy in their life together. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, source of infinite love, Bless us with an openness to the presence of your spirit in our lives. Keep us sensitive to the wonder of things that fill our days and give meaning to our lives. Deepen in us the level of our loving so that we may learn to love in the same unselfish way that you have loved us through Jesus Christ. We pray for Caitlin and Brian who come here in this joyous moment of their lives be near to them as they make their promises to each other so that they may pledge their vows with deepest sincerity, knowing full well the meaning of the words they say. And grant to us all, we pray, a heightened sense of the joy of life because we are able to share this special moment with them. In the name of Christ our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen. Brian and Caitlin, few things in life are easier than saying words and making promises. But nothing is harder than living those words and those promises day after day. What you promise today must be renewed and redecided tomorrow and each day that stretches out before you. At the end of this ceremony, you will indeed be husband and wife, but you must decide each day to make the most of your marriage. I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of loved ones and of God, that having considered the holy covenant which you are about to make together, you do now declare before God and these people your pledge of faith, each to the other. If the vows you make this day are kept, your life together will be full of joy and peace, even in the hard times and the home which you make together will last through a future that is full of uncertainties. Brian, will you have Caitlin to be your wife? Will you share with her your joys and your sorrows, your needs and your dreams? Will you give her your comfort and support in bad times as well as in good? Will you be honest with her and be faithful to her always? offering her the freedom and encouragement she needs to fulfill her own life so long as you both shall live? I will. Caitlin, will you have Brian to be your husband? Will you share with him your joys and your sorrows, your needs and your dreams? Will you give him your comfort and support in bad times as well as in good? Will you be honest with him and be faithful to him always, offering him the freedom and encouragement he needs to fulfill his own life so long as you both shall live? I will. George and Christina and Eileen, will you give your blessing to Caitlin and to Brian in their new relationship with each other? Will you support them with the freedom and the love which they need Will you share your experience with them, but seek to learn from them as well? If so, you may answer, we will. We will. We will. And now I would like to invite the rest of family and friends here today. Will you also pledge your support to Brian and to Caitlin in their relationship with each other? 
Will you share with them the fellowship and joy of their home? Will you be with them in time of need if they seek your help? If so, you may answer, we will. We will. In the Old Testament book of Ruth, we find one of the most beautiful illustrations of what commitment in love is all about. Do not urge me to go back and desert you, for where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. I swear a solemn oath before the Lord your God, Nothing but death shall divide us. Hear also what the New Testament has to say about love. Love is slow to lose patience. It looks for a way of being constructive. It is not possessive. It is neither anxious to impress, nor does it cherish inflated ideas of its own importance. Love has good manners and doesn't pursue selfish advantage. It isn't touchy. It doesn't keep track of the bad things or laugh at the faults in other people. On the contrary, it is glad when truth is victorious. Love knows no limit to its endurance, no end to its trust, no fading of its hope. It can outlast anything. It still stands when all else has fallen. Caitlin and Brian, I would like you now to put your love for each other and your commitment to each other into words for all of us to hear. Face each other. I, Brian, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I, Brian, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. To love and to trust from this day forward. To love and to trust from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As we continue to grow. As we continue to grow. In our love for each other. In our love for each other. I shall listen to you. I shall listen to you. And speak the truth to you. And speak the truth to you. And seek to live each day. And seek to live each day. As a gift from above. As a gift from above. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. I, Caitlin, take you, Brian, to be my husband. I, Caitlin, take you, Brian, to be my husband. To love and to trust from this day forward. To love and to trust from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As we continue to grow, as we continue to grow, in our love for each other, at, for, in our love for each other. It's okay. <laughs> I shall listen to you. I shall listen to you. And speak the truth to you. And speak the truth to you. And seek to live each day. And seek to live each day. As a gift from above. As a gift from above. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. <laughs> Wedding rings serve as a symbol of the covenant that you have just made with each other. They are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible love which binds your hearts together. Just as they have been made out of Earth's finest materials, so your love is made of the richest of spiritual values. Just as rings have no beginning and no end, so they remind us of God's eternal love, which binds all of us together. 
Oui. May this ring always remind you of the promises that you have made this day and of the love that God has given you to share with each other. Oh, other way. Um, oop, there we go. <laughs> Caitlin, I give you this ring. Caitlin, I give you this ring. As a pledge of my faithfulness and love. As a pledge of my faithfulness and love. And as a sign of the covenant. And as a sign of the covenant. Made this day between us. Made this day between us. <laughs> May this ring always remind you of the promises that you have made this day and of the love that God has given you to share with each other. Brian, I give you this ring. Brian, I give you this ring. As a pledge of my faithfulness and love. As a pledge of my faithfulness and love. And as a sign of the covenant. And as a sign of the covenant. Made this day between us. May this day between us. Good. Caitlin and Brian, you've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. <laughs> I don't want you to breathe a big sigh of relief now that the ceremony is nearly over and the rain is still holding off. Yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest dangers of getting married is that it's so easy to start taking each other for granted. I would encourage you to always remember that you've gotten married here today, not just because you've said that you love each other, but because you've said that you need each other. And one of the things that you need most from each other is time. Time to be alone, time to be together, time to listen, time to talk, time to comfort, time to love. If you can give each other your time, it's probably the greatest gift you'll ever be able to give each other. You are two people being joined together as one flesh, but that doesn't mean that you've lost your individuality by any means. After all, if both of you thought alike and acted alike, one of you would be unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you are two people, unique and unrepeatable miracles of God. Try to appreciate the differences in each other and don't use those differences as weapons to try to hurt each other. Always try to talk with each other rather than at each other. Listening to your partner when you'd really rather be doing the talking yourself is probably one of the truest tests of your love for each other. Let go of your old habits and work together to dream new dreams and build a new life together. Only by the two of you working together and giving in to each other will your marriage grow strong and healthy as the years go by. May you double each other's joys and share each other's sorrows, always remembering that it is God alone who can make two people one. Let us pray once again. Almighty God, by whose love the world is created, sustained, and redeemed, so fill Brian and Caitlin with the overflowing abundance of your grace that their lives may reflect their dependence upon you. Give them the strength and the courage to keep the commitment they have made together here today. May they be loyal and faithful to each other throughout their lives. Lord, make their life together happy and fulfilled and enable their love to grow through all the experiences which they will face together. Fill their days with good things that all their needs may be met. Give them enough tears to keep them tender and enough hurts to keep them humane. And when life is done and the sun is setting, may they be found then even as they are now, with hands tightly clasped, still thanking you for giving them each other. We ask all these things in the name of the one who brings us life and love, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Brian and Caitlin, you have declared before all of us that you really want to make this commitment to live together <laughs> as husband and wife. You have made significant promises to each other, and you have symbolized this by joining hands and mm -hmm. exchanging rings. May your mutual covenant be for you both again and again a source of happiness and life-giving joy. And now by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth now. <laughs> Go forth now and celebrate your new life together. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon both of you and give to you his peace. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> 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 Keep going. Yep. All right, my crown is coming off, so I'm going to just lose that right now. Hey! Bye, bye, bye. Up, you look like and I lost a pin. Okay. Oh.